Mastering the present perfect tense, expressing likes and dislikes. Hello learners! Welcome back to another exciting lesson in our conversational English series. Today, we're going to delve deep into expressing likes and dislikes using the present perfect tense. Particularly, we're focusing on using phrases like, why have you liked, and why has he, she liked. Let's get started. First things first, let's refresh our understanding of the present perfect tense. This tense is used to link the past and the present. It's formed with the present tense of the verb, have, have, has, and the past participle of the main verb. Now, when we're asking about likes and dislikes in the present perfect tense, we're essentially asking about preferences that started in the past and continue into the present. This could be about a movie, a song, a food, a hobby, anything really. Let's move on to the usage of, why have you liked? This phrase helps us understand the reason behind someone's preference. For example, if your friend has been continuously listening to a particular song, you might ask, why have you liked this song so much? It means you're curious about the reason they started liking the song and continue to like it. The phrase, why has he, she liked, works on similar lines. It is used when you want to understand the reason behind another person's, he, she, ongoing preference. For instance, if a friend has been raving about a new restaurant, you could ask, why has she liked that restaurant so much? Let's do some practice together. Try creating your own sentences using, why have you liked, and, why has he, she liked. Remember, the more you practice, the more natural it will feel to use these phrases in conversation. Well, that wraps up our lesson on expressing likes and dislikes in the present perfect tense. Remember, English is all about practice and everyday use. So, the next time you're curious about someone's ongoing likes or dislikes, don't hesitate to ask using the phrases we learned today. Keep practicing and we'll see you in our next lesson.